And finally a month ago, I decided to ditch MIUI 10 and went with an Android Pie based ROM called the Pixel Experience. It was supposed to give me Pixel Experience on my Redmi Note 4. Before we jump right into the video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and if you have already subscribed, hit the notification bell to get notifications when a new video is up on this channel. So hey guys, this is Satyajit and you're watching the review of the Pixel Experience ROM on Redmi Note 4. So without further ado, let's roll in the intro. Now it being a custom ROM, I was really skeptical about it initially, but it impressed me over time, except a few little things. So now let's take a look at the ROM. When you switch on your phone, the ROM boots just like a Pixel 3 would. I noticed that the boot times were pretty faster when compared to MIUI. I really love the way stock Android looks and more so with Android Pie. The ROM also gets those beautiful blue accents from the Pixel phones. It literally has all the features of Pixel phones even including the now playing feature. It has all the features Android Pie has to offer. The most remarkable change this ROM has brought to the phone is the Google Camera app being pre-installed. The Google Camera app is known for its HDR plus and great processing. And believe me when I say this, it makes a huge difference. Difference is noticeable in every picture you take made with the front camera or even the rear camera. I now seem to understand what the camera sensor inside is capable of. Now check out some camera samples for yourself. Now just look at the front camera portrait mode. Amazing. When it comes to the video front, it adds 4K 30fps recording as well as EIS. The EIS works better than expected and produces really smooth videos while the 4K video produces sharp and accurate output. Pixel experience on a mid-range Xiaomi phone sounds odd, but the performance you get out of this ROM is really really amazing. There were no lags or stutters found by me. The RAM management is way better than UI. Compare the performance of the phone before this ROM and you'll be impressed. When it comes to battery life, if you think MIUI is optimized for battery life, then you can't even imagine what kind of battery life this ROM will provide you with. This ROM performed so great because of the Franco kernel used over here. It provided me screen on times of more than 11 hours on an average with ambient display and now playing feature turned on, which is really, really good. Now, remember I mentioned that uh, this ROM has a few little things which did not impress me. So I really miss those MIUI gestures like three finger swipe for screenshot, the inbuilt screen recorder, inbuilt call recorder and so many features like this. This ROM is so pure that it does not even include any extra feature other than what Google intended it to. Now you decide if this is a good or a bad thing. After using this ROM for more than a month, I can tell you that I can recommend this ROM with closed eyes. Zero strokes, zero force closes, great performance and beautiful appearance. But always remember, changing the mobile operating system is a complex process and if you do not know it, better not do it. But if you're experienced enough and think you can do it, the tutorials I use for flashing this ROM on my phone will be linked below. The download link for downloading this ROM will also be linked below. So that was pretty much it for this video. Hit the like button if you like this video and subscribe to my channel for more such awesome content. Thank you very much for watching this video. This has been the See you in the next one.